Hey, what's up, everybody? My name is Trophy the Babbling Belgian, and welcome back to God of War. We're, uh, well, in the vault underneath the witch's house, so this kind of assumes that Freya also has a secret in her basement for some reason. Ooh, there's side areas here. Was that the same way in the other area? Because I feel like I haven't. I completely missed that. There's a horn here, but there's a Valkyrie in the area up top. Doesn't sound like she's waking up from us just rummaging around the, uh, beneath her, so um, fair enough. Hack silver for us. I should check the other vault. If there's 6,000 hack silver just lying down there, and there's horns. For some reason, there's horns. Fair enough. Okay, let's see if we can uh, we beat this thing. Think before you act. Are we prepared to face such a powerful foe? I'm ready if you are. I same here. If that counts for anything. Well, you're you're occasionally useful. Let's see, how big of a level do you have? Seems doable. What kind of attacks does she have? Oh, she does? Punch your draw, good. Blocking. Block that as well, but apparently she went straight through the shield. Oh! Okay, so she does conjure up more. Okay, brother. So there goes one. No, no, no. Come on. Boom. Boom. Oh god. Oh, they have shields, that's a problem. Oh god. Oh god. Might just lose this, but you don't want to get. Yeah, yeah. They got through my shield. Okay, let's try that again. It's doable. And there we go, just transition. Oh, 
They got me right in the attack. Come on, ghouls! There we go. Rip them in half. There we go. There goes the last one. And swoop, swoop, swoop. Crap. Didn't expect another wave. I'm into my real house, buddies. Oh. If I kill her, this probably is over. Wolves, 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 please, wolves. Yeah, there we go. There she goes. She's down. Down for the count. One wing. Two wings. Only took me three tries. That's fair enough. Fair enough. Goodbye, Valkyrie. I even missed your name there. Thank you for releasing Kara. Form. That's actually a normal name. I Kara. Have only gratitude. Thank you, Kara. How are you trapped? I am uncertain. My mind still fragmented. The Rokstol of Valkyr. It is the last thing I remember. The what? Valhalla awaits. The Rokstol of Valkyr. That sounds like rock stools? Maybe stone seats like the, the circle we've seen before along the lake might be that that she's referring to so let's put that away our third valkyrie helmet which means we might actually be able to make something nice what is that mamir it's a council chamber of sorts hidden away in midgard the valkyries we would often need a place to confer outside of odin's prying eyes they thought themselves properly concealed but the all father sees all so the saying goes where is it remember the room with the eight thrones i think so We've been to a lot of different places. It's to the left of the two oarsmen statues. Oh, he even I didn't says call it. it out for what it was at the time. I didn't know for sure. Think we'll find out why the Valkyries are like this? That chamber held a special significance for them. We'll find something there, I'm certain of it. Talisman of the realm. Summon a realm shift that temporarily slows down surrounding enemies. Upgrade to increase the duration of realm shift. It is. Ooh. It is actually better than the uh, Infinity Gauntlet, because somebody in the comments mentioned that it is actually... The Shattered Gauntlet of Ages is actually the Infinity Gauntlet, but... Yeah, Talisman of the Realms is a lot better. So let's just equip that, and I think I can upgrade that with some of the materials we found in the treasure chests. Uh, by the way, enchantment slots? Ah, that's the catch. It doesn't have any enchantment slots. So if I switch it, I go down in level. Uh, let's keep Aegis protection then for now. We'll uh, swap that out when we can. So let's get all the Hexel from the arena. And I think we're going to head towards Brock to see what we can actually make with all of that. Uh, so see you guys at Brock's shop in a second. Or not, of course, because fast travel has been disabled because we need to use the boat to get back to the lake. So let's do just that. Because uh, remember, we're just uh, underneath the witch's cabin again. So uh, yeah, I think the trophy said nine Valkyries, which means we're uh, three Valkyries in already, which is really, really cool. But most of them are probably hidden behind those hidden chambers. One we killed in Muspelheim. 
which means that we're only missing one more, but that might be... Hmm. That might be a big pulse, of course. Because I thought there were only eight braziers as well, because the one from Jotunheim is missing. And since we now know that every brazier stands for the name of a Valkyrie, that makes things a whole lot more interesting, of course. Because we don't know how those things are linked just yet, so... Yeah, let's, let's head out of here and uh, see if we can catch a boat. Because I can't really find the uh, solution for that uh, wind hell uh, puzzle. Because I can't, I can't reach that one from the other side. So I can't transfer the wind to it. And I can't reach this one from here. So yeah, kind of don't know what I need to do with that. So our next step will depend on, well, what has changed. Because we know something's happened in the lake. Uh, if everything is normal, then I think I'm just going to do the last spirit quest we still need to do, so collecting those bones. And otherwise, if it's not the case, then I guess we'll see what happens. We're going to have to take it as it comes, because I have a feeling that uh, a lot has changed along the lake. I didn't get the trophy to completing Brock and Sindri's favors just yet, so I'm guessing uh, we still get another tier of those as well. So we're definitely not done ah, see, yet. The boat washed ashore. Someone did call a serpent earlier. Wait. The boat washed ashore. So yeah, the boat is over here. So indeed, as Mir says, the water Get rose him. for a second. And washed the boat over here. You are quiet. Are you not better? I guess. I know you overheard my talk with Freya. You think you understand, but you do not. Okay, so does he know he's Why a gold? You say then? nothing. You said I was cursed. You think I'm weak because I'm not like you. No. I knew I was never what you wanted. The point is that you are. After all this, I thought. Maybe things were different. Things are different, but not in the way you think. Come on, Kratos. You do Kratos. not know everything, boy. No. But at least I know the truth now. Come on, truth. Kratos. The truth. I am a god, boy. From another land far from here. When I came to these shores, I chose to live as a man. But the truth is, I was born a god, and so were you. Um, shall... Boy, have you nothing to say? Um, can I turn into an animal? <laughs> Okay, to awesome. An, to an animal. That's an amazing start. An amazing first reaction. No. No, I do not think so. I love that. I'm a god. Yeah, you are. Mother knew? She was a god too? Good question. No. She was mortal, but she knew my true nature. I'm a god. Why did you wait so long to tell me? Well, he was afraid of your reaction. He clearly didn't need to, but... I had hoped to spare you. Being a god... It can be a lifetime of anguish and tragedy. That is the curse. Hmm. What sorts of things can I do? Can I fly? Turn invisible? Well, you kind of have your daddy's I Spartan rage. Feel like God. Well, you do not know the reach of your God. Jumping and but over time, falling all over the place without you really learn. getting hurt. So, and yeah, we don't know the reach of his abilities. And another Should interesting. I get into a wolf? Yeah. You are welcome to surprise me. <laughs> 
<laughs> awesome. So return to tears fold. Why hear voices sometimes? Are you sure you've never heard any? Not as you do. That's no surprise. Every god is unique. So maybe I won't get strong like father, but I'll have abilities all my own. You already do, laddie. Your faculty for language is extraordinary for one so young. Time alone will tell what else you'll become capable of. So you knew all along? I did, lad. But I've known more than my share of gods. Me too, apparently. Yeah, I who indeed. Else knew I was a god. Freya, for sure. Rock and Sindri? They do not need to know. Boulder! Does he know? Oh. Is that why he's after us? Okay. Do you know him from before? The day of your um, mother's funeral was the first I ever saw Balder. That is the truth. Hey, we don't have to go right back to Tears Vault, do we? I mean, we're God. We can do whatever we want, right? What do you really feel like doing right now? Wait. I will show you. Was that there? Was that always there? That that thing in the middle there? I know it's where you call the serpent from, but it looks like it's kind of destroyed right now. What else has changed? You know what? I'm not gonna I'm not gonna check that out just now. I just wanna get those bones for that spirit first. Let's do that quickly. So the first set of bones is apparently where the uh, the spirit of the ship captain was in the Forgotten Cavern. So let's just quickly take a look. Cause yeah, for once I did activate the uh, quest markers because this would be annoying to do if it was not visible so i'm guessing they're up yeah so this one is indeed up here somewhere aha it's just an item yeah it's a skull these bones pulse with magic it must be Golvi. could we could we just hold on to it maybe we'll find the rest of them well i guess it lies to you boy yeah how would you know i have known many spirits they are all liars this one is different i know it you know very little. Well, the ship captain wasn't a liar, really, because he told us the truth, so not all spirits are liars. But, on to the next batch. Trusting a spirit to keep its word is foolish, boy. But, if there's even a chance, don't you want to see mom again? Of course I. She is gone, Atreus. You must accept this. I do, but to see her again. Just one more time. Why do you believe him? You do not know him or who he was. All of this is sinister. He wants to see someone he loved again. I... I understand how that feels. I don't think there's anything sinister about it. Hope is blinding your instincts, boy. It is, but it is understandable. So yeah, while leaving I had to fight two wolves. Kinda got the... Uh, mold again. I don't... I don't like... Wolvers. I really, really don't like wolves. Let's just heal up on this thing. Now that I know that it's actually just heals you to full again. Let's ignore that. Thank you very much for the healing. And then we'll get the... I'm hoping it's not another skull, because that would be weird. But here we go. Yeah, hand. Hand bones. Govi's bones. What will you say to her? To Govi? Your mother. What have you left unsaid? I... I guess... I just want to know if she's okay. She is dead, boy. I know that! I... You don't understand. Neither do you. Well, I think both of them understand, but they have a... a bit of a different perspective on life, of course. Uh, did I ever go into this cave? Let's quickly check that out. King's Hollow. Did I ever go into King's Hollow? I think I nipped in here, but never fully went through the tunnel. Because if they now show the third dragon to me, I'm going to freak out. Because <laughs> I feel like I've missed... Yeah, this is a new boat though. I'm going to... Yeah, I think I've missed probably whatever this is. Ooh. We're not getting in there without a key. Oh. This is something else. Um, okay then. Let's just continue on our way then. What would you say to me? Nothing. 
Nothing? There is nothing left to say. What about everything we've done so far? That man coming to the house? Talking to the world serpent? We've done so many amazing things. I just want to tell her about them. Well, apparently don't creatures you? don't see the doesn't see what the use in that. Say to her? I tell her that we're both okay. Not to worry about us. Atreus, I I miss her too. You know this. I thought I knew very little. <laughs> okay, that was an awesome response. But uh, yeah, of course they both miss her. I do wonder if we're gonna get to see her eventually. I feel like we will. But yeah, last bit of bones coming up. There it was again. It's there and then it's not. What does it mean? So the last bones are actually located right next to some Hell's Bramble, which is very nice in the game. There we go, we get um, whatever that is, Hex Silver apparently. That's, I was hoping for uh, some more runic attacks. Because if we get a heavy runic attack for the blades as well, we have four magic attacks we can just swap to and from. Okay, so bones. There we go. Last bit of bones. Return Gulvig's bones. Yeah. We might as well return them to the spirit. Maybe he will keep his word. I know and... she's not coming back, okay? I know. I just... Never mind. I just gotta return the bones. Okay. I wonder why Gulvig's bones are all over the place. Desecration, typically. Pieces of scattered corpse make for a piss poor soul. No hope for Valhalla or Helheim when your arm's on one beach and your head's on another. Why not ask the spirit? I'm sure he will be forthcoming with answers. Yeah, well, we'll get to uh, ask them immediately because uh, we were right next to the spirit. So there we go. Let's have a little chat with this guy. And tornado. Feel like I do a bit more damage with the axe. There we go. And juggle. Taking care of Roth. Glad of I'm on thing. your side. Yeah, I'm glad you're on, your, on our side as well, Mimir. There we go. And then let's have a little chat with this guy. Hello? Hello? Sir? Sir, the prompt isn't working. There we go. Let's fix this corpse. And I feel like something bad is going to happen. the rest of your woman's corpse spirit. Show us this magic you have promised. Ah, oh, my sweet Gulvik. Whole again. Rise, dear Gulvig. Awaken, O oh powerful Gulvig! Yep. Yep, definitely not a good spirit. She sent you on her request. She will. And reunite us? She's a revenant. She's a revenant. In death. Hello, Gulvig. Gulvig doesn't seem so bad. Oh, what the? Oh, she does. Wow, she does a lot of damage. Holy crap. There we go, and just whack her a bit. Damn it. Yeah, she's shocked. She's going down. And there she goes, the anatomy of hope completed. Ah, and finished business completed as well. I told you so. Naive, boy. 
<laughs> this is true as well. But do not take your disappointment out on me, boy. Take it as a lesson. Yes, sir. Okay, so that was the final Wayward Spirit quest. Fair enough. That still leaves one more dragon, six more Valkyries, and two more Dwarven Favors probably. But, since we still have that King's Hollow we can't actually access. And, you know what, while we're at it, let's finish up the episode with the Thrones of the Valkyrie. Because I want to want to check that back out and it's uh, right over there so we might as well take a look inside. Oh, and we come across Sindri of course and he has something else to say. Sindri, I know I should stay out of your family business. I just don't get why Thor abusing your creation would drive you and Brock apart. It wasn't your fault. Well, I'm glad you forgive our part in that. But when you've witnessed that much devastation and loss, and you know it couldn't have happened without you, it's simply not so easy to forgive yourself or your partner. Oh. We tried to make up for it, of course, but that's a whole other sad story, as, as I'm sure you know. I do? Atreus, enough. All right. We tried to make up for it, but that's another sad story, as I'm sure you know. Why is that? Or is that just talking about his mother? That they made the Leviathan axe for Faye and... Yeah, she died, making it a sad story. Well, let's head up and uh, meet the Valkyries we've saved already, I suppose. This is it, right? Yes, it is. Hi, lad. The Council of Valkyries. The Valkyries are of Valhalla, are they not? Glad to see you're paying attention, brother. You are correct. Valhalla, the great hall of the Ainveriar, is their home within Asgard. There, they are subject to the scrutiny of the Allfather himself. And relations between the Valkyries and Odin were tense during my tenure as his advisor. What? Well, that's an even longer story, lad. For now, why don't we look around for some clues? Yeah, that sounds like a plan. Place the eight helms. But again, eight. And there are nine Valkyries, if I'm not mistaken. And there are... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine chairs. Try placing one of the Valkyrie helms on a throne. There we go. Dump. Whoa, you're back. Yes, indeed. So that's one. Well, I don't think she can hear you, lad. The helms must only retain but a small portion of their owner. I'd wager the rest is in transit to Valhalla to try and fix the mess left by their absence. Okay. Come here. Who is she? Gunnar, mistress of war. After any conflict, big or small, she would be first on the scene, sussing out the worthy spirits for a free trip to Valhalla. A gruesome task, but she took great pride in it. Any conflict? Impossible. It's true. She had help from her sisters, of course, but Gunnar was always first to arrive. Her judgment of the fallen was unparalleled, and an invaluable resource to Odin. She was one of his favorites. Yeah, I can imagine. Um, then we have... Can I just place that on any throne? Yeah, apparently we can. Might as well make a, make a nice circle. There we go. Next up is the Muspelheim Valkyrie. And she was called... Ah, Gondul. Gondul. Beautiful Gondul. And? Huh? That's it? Beautiful Gondul? No story or anything? Uh, oh, sorry, lad. The sight of Gondul always took my breath away. Gondul had a silver tongue, a sharp wit, and struck a figure so stunning it literally drove men insane. Odin forbid her from setting foot in Midgard after a time, as insanity is not a welcome trait in Valhalla. Okay, then. So, crazy Valkyrie. Okay, so next one. And that must be Kara, I think her name was. It was something simple. Let's this, check. My friends, is Kara. There we go. Now, Kara. Valkyries are volatile by nature, but Kara, the lass is wild storm personified. A wild storm. Aye, calm and collected. And the air would shift, and the fury of our storm would unleash. 
was beautiful in a way, assuming you could find proper shelter. Her <laughs> tears would cleanse the blood-soaked battlefields. All right, so that's uh, three of the Valkyries. Well, the three Valkyries we saved so far. We can just place them here. Sounds like that's just collectible style then for now. But hey, that's uh, the end of this episode. I'm going to take a break. So thank you guys enormously for watching. Hope you enjoyed the episode. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.